It's ages. It's a lot quicker than getting bits out of glue and scraping the glue off the back and then re-gluing it because you've put PS down in it. Always when you pull a blank up, you'd be better off just setting your tree out, drawing your zigzag as to where you're coming. Oh. You shouldn't have to because if you're coming yeah, right. up and down, if you if this is perfectly straight, yeah. No way it can go, you, is you can't really. Yeah, tight, yeah. <laughs> yeah, unless there's a bit of a deviation in the floor, if there's a bit of a rise. Right. Brian King, UK Flooring TV. Uh, we're over in uh, Wolverhampton at MN Floor Train Limited. Uh, we're with owner pa uh, Paddy McNicholas. Uh, how are you doing, Paddy? Alright? Yeah, I'm good, bro. Uh, Paddy, last time I was here, it was the day before your opening. Uh, that was six months ago. How's uh, your first six months gone? Yeah, it's gone really well. Um, much better than I could have anticipated, to be honest. Bookings are much further ahead than I thought they'd be. Uh, the reviews I'm getting online have been fantastic. The work lads are producing is brilliant. I've got people sending me pictures every week of the work they're doing out in the real world which is again really good for me to see that the techniques that I'm teaching them in here they're actually using in the real world so training's going better than I could have hoped to be honest so it's, uh, it's going really well. So have you been a lot busier than you ex expected? Yeah considerably busier um, I didn't expect to do many courses on the run up to Christmas I did loads um, I'm now fully booked till the end of February I've had to put an extra two courses on in January to meet demand um, so yeah, it's, it's all going amazing to be fair. What courses are you delivering? So I do a fitting course that originally they were designed as a level one and level two but I'm rebranding them as an LVT fitting course and a design floor course. So my LVT fitting course covers subfloor preparation on a Monday morning, then we do straight lay Monday afternoon. So I teach some scribing techniques to cut it in absolutely perfectly. And then on Tuesday we do 45 degree work with and without a border. And then on the Wednesday it's herringbone again with and without a border. So it's a lot of content over three days. Uh, but because I only have six on a course, I can put a lot of content in and spend a lot of time with the fitters and get the results that I want from them. Yeah. How different are your courses than other courses on uh, other training centres or do you base them like more or less the same? I try not to focus on what the people are doing and focus on what I'm doing. I've set up the training courses as I fit would want them so there is a lot of content in the courses. Um, like I say the straight lay, the 45 and the herringbone and the subfloor prep in three days is a big ask from fitters but like I say because I only have six on the course um, I can deliver that amount of content and get still get the results of people that I want. Because they're so small, a bit more personal. That's it, because I I only have six on a course, so I can spend like an hour and a half a day with each fitter, whereas if I had nine, I'd only be able to spend an hour with each fitter, so that's 50% less time. So, like I say, I originally set this place up to just have six lads in, or six fitters in, so that I can give them the content that I want over the three days, spend the time with them and get the results off them. It's not about me earning loads of money off the fitters, it's about me giving them as much knowledge as I can. Um, I don't go out fitting anymore, so I put all my knowledge into the course and pass it all on to the fitters that come in here. And because I do that, I get the re results off their work and the great reviews with it as well, so. What support have you had uh, within the industry? I've been quite taken back by the amount of support I've had in the industry from fitters supporting me, booking my courses, um, to manufacturers supporting me with product, advice, um, branding for the walls. It's been, I've been really taken back by how much support and help I've had. It's uh, a credit to the flooring industry, I feel. And are you training full time now? Do you not do any, any uh, work outside of the training centre? Yes, yeah, so training is Monday to Wednesday, um, Thursday, Fridays I am getting the training centre ready and getting materials ready, uh, sometimes I'm out with yourself doing tool reviews, I go out and see other fitters, go out to manufacturers, go on the occasional course if there's one knocking about, I've been to F-Ball this year, to, to their course, 
uh, been on the Wolf grinding course, so I don't want my knowledge to stagnate. I always want to learn more and pass it on to the lads that come in here. Also, it's really good for me to go out to other training centres and see how they do things and take the good things out of other training centres and bring them into here to make this place better. It's still good that you're still furthering your knowledge going on courses. Yeah, so I think it's, it's really important. Like, I haven't got the time to go out fitting anymore. I can't give my customers the time and attention whilst running this place. This is my, this is my priority now. Um, I want this to be a success, so therefore I am actually helping the fitters that come in here and ultimately improving the flooring industry bit by bit every week, which is the aim. Uh, Paddy, for people who didn't see our last interview, uh, what made you want to open a training centre? So I love training. Um, I trained for Carl and Dean a bit last year and really enjoyed it. Um, the job satisfaction I get off seeing six fitters over three days dramatically improve their work is a lot more satisfying for me than fitting a floor myself. Um, I just love training, I love the banter with the lads, you know, seeing their work improve. It's, it's, it's brilliant and to be in the position to be able to do that, you know, I want to make the most of it. Um, I, the main reason I started the training centre is the demand from fitters saying that you know they want to come on my courses and that they, they would come if I built the training centre. I then also had a lot of support off manufacturers, supporting the product and advice and whatever else um, and I kind of felt that it was either now or never something I really want to do so I just went for it. Do you generally get people local from like Birmingham area, uh, West Midlands coming, or do you get do you get people coming from further afield on your courses? Yeah, so I had people come from all over. I had a couple of lads in from Northern Ireland the other week. Uh, they got a flight over to come here, which I was quite taken back by. Um, they love the course and they seem to be doing really well for it, which is great. I've had a lad in from the Isle of Skye, so he drove nine and a half hours to be on my course, which again I was quite taken back that someone had come so far. Um, but whether someone comes from around the corner or from the Isle of Skye, I want everyone to have the same content and get as much out of the course as possible. Um, there's someone from um, Saudi Arabia who wants to come on my course next year. So I've been speaking to him and I might be going out to Dubai to deliver some training out there as opposed to him coming to Wolverhampton. Um, Dubai is much nicer than Wolverhampton. So you that'll need somebody be... carrying your tools. Yeah, if you could, Bri. <laughs> you and Dan can come. Um, I've also got been in contact with someone in South Africa who's building a training centre over there. He's apparently currently raising sponsorship for me to go down there and help him and train him up. That would be, again, amazing. And whispers about me maybe going to America to deliver training so none of it might have tip materialise it might all materialise but it's nice to be in the conversation you yeah. know um, and Absolutely. have that demand especially from you know someone wanting to come on my course from Saudi Arabia that is mind blowing yeah. um, uh, Paddy, uh, the floor show at Harrogate last year, you had a stand show now of ETR. Uh, are you attending again this year? So when me and Dan went up to Harrogate with yourself last year, we had a brilliant time. It was more of a holiday for floor layers than a flooring show. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it and will certainly be going again this year. Um, I'll be getting a stand, so I think it's good exposure for the training centre. Um, and it's just a good laugh with the lads, really. I, I do enjoy floors. the floor show at Harrogate. Yeah. All the people you talk to online over the years, you just all seem to meet up and have a, have yeah. a bit of a catch up face to face. Yeah, me, you, and Dan still mention Harrogate, and you know, next year, this year, sorry, should be a really good gig. Um, I think it'll be a bit busier this year than last year. And now I know what to expect, I can prepare a bit more for it. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. Uh, Paddy, are you, are you planning on expanding into any any other types of floor coverings or are you just sticking with LVT? Yes, yeah, so I just want to stick with LVT flooring. Uh, it's what I know and I know that I can deliver the content I want to with LVT. Um, also the demand is there. There's 30,000 floor layers in the UK. 
all of them are now starting to fit LVT. There's not that many places for them to learn. So, you know, I want to keep this place going, just doing LVT. Um, and yeah, if I can get six lads through here every week from throughout the UK, then that is just going to expand and people's fitting is going to get bigger and better all over the country. Um, I'm going to be having Dean Dickinson in from the Fitter of the Year competition. He's going to help me deliver some training as well, so it's not all on myself. Um, Dean is an amazing fitter. He's one of the best in the country and he's a good bloke as well. So uh, to have him in would be uh, a credit to this company, I feel. Well, you've just, asked, uh, you've just answered my last question. Uh, I was just going to ask, are you still going? No, you're getting so busy. Are you going to be uh, doing it on your own or are you looking for other? Yeah, so I'm going to get Dean in to help me with training and I might get someone else in as well. Um, the unit, the, the training centre will be getting 50% bigger in the summer. Um, so I'm going to, when I've got the space, I'm going to decide whether I put more bays in or have more storage. But it's nice to have that extra 50% to work with um, and I can sort of you know do as and what I need to with the space um, but I'm really looking forward to this year and all the exciting things in the pipeline. Well Paddy congratulations on uh, your success so far thanks for speaking to us and inviting us down and uh, we'll catch up again soon. Nice one thank cheers. you right cheers.